I recently got an opportunity to work as a software engineering intern in a company called Azalesis. I know there are a lot of students who tried but did not get the internship this summer. I consider myself to be lucky to have got this chance because to be honest I don't have anything extraordinary in my resume. Anyways, today in this video I'm gonna talk about things that might have helped me and that might help you too to get your first internship in the USA. Hello guys, welcome back. If you are new to this channel, I'm Sandesh. I have been making videos on how to choose the college, how to apply to US universities, how to approach the professors to get the assistantships and things like that. And today, I have one more thing to share with you all and that is about my internship. Before I go right into the topic, I want to give you a short story or the short context of how everything happened and how long it took. So I applied to over 300 companies in total for the summer internship. I probably applied to Azalesis on late December or the mid December. Then they took my online assessment on the first week of January. If you don't know what online assessment is, uh, they just give you some questions to solve and also the, there will be the time limit and that's it. That is the online assessment. They asked me two questions and I did and submitted it on time. After two or three weeks of that, they took my behavioral interview. And after almost a month after my first behavioral interview, they took one more interview. It was kind of behavioral, but there were also a few technical questions. And after that interview, after almost a month, they offered me the internship. So it almost took four months from the beginning to the end for this whole process. That's all about the journey. Now I'm going to tell you uh, what things I did that might help you to get your first internship. First thing first, optimize your resume. Your resume is not just a piece of paper where you uh, put your skills, your education, your hobbies. It's your weapon. If you have a strong and sharp weapon, it definitely helps you fight. I had an old resume that I prepared when I was in Nepal. Uh, after I came to USA and started to, before I started to even apply for the companies, I prepared five or six, five or six drafts of the resume. Then I asked few people to review it. All of them get bad reviews on the resume. Then I had to prepare few more drafts. And after I think 12 or 15 drafts, I got one version of resume that I used to apply to the companies initially. Later on, as you begin to apply more and more companies, you realize that, hey, this uh, the process of uh, making your resume, building your resume is not a one-time process. As you start applying to more companies, you see a lot of new requirements depending on the companies and sometimes you have to add few things in the resume sometimes you have to take few things off from the resume in this video i'm not going to talk about how uh, you can build a proper resume for that you can find a lot of videos in youtube that will help you do that but always keep in mind that if you are starting to apply for the company you need to have a solid resume and definitely put some time even weeks or months to build a good one now the second way to look for the job postings to talk about myself if i talk about myself i first started with the college handshake website it is just a, a website of your college uh, where they put the job listings i started from the college handshake website applied to all the companies there and after i applied to all of them uh, that i found in the college handshake website then i moved to linkedin in linkedin i probably applied to 100 plus companies after that i moved to indeed jeep recruiter and few other company and few other websites recently i came to know that there are few github repositories where people post about the summer internship and they also keep it updated so i really think that such resources is definitely will definitely be helpful for the students who are looking to apply or for people who are looking to find the place where they can find such uh, job vacancies. So if I had to suggest you on the places where to look for the job opportunities, College Handshake website, LinkedIn, Indeed, and the GitHub repositories. So these four would be my suggestions for you. Now, when to start applying for the internships? Well, sooner the better. It takes almost two to five months for a company to hire one candidate to take their online assessment, to get to get them through the several round of interviews 
and finally give them the offer it takes company almost two to five months and most of the companies send out their hiring decision uh, as early as january to april or may so if you really wanna get started or be ahead than others you have to start your application or the job hunting process uh, probably on august or october to talk about myself i started building my resume on late october uh, after two weeks i started on after two weeks that is on first week or the second week of november i started to apply few companies by the end of november i started to i, I have applied to few companies 50 or 60 companies and by the end of december i had applied to over 150 companies i even kept track of all the companies that i applied to but after some point after 200 or 250 companies I, I was just tired of it and stopped doing it when i looked at my excel sheet i found that agilisys the company that i'm currently working on is among the is among my first 30 companies that i applied so it probably means i applied to agilisys very early and i think that might be the one of the reason why i got this opportunity so i would definitely suggest you if you are looking for your first internship to start applying for the companies as early as possible number four is about the location well location matters a lot depending on the area where you live you may find it hard to find a job i used to hear that these days companies uh, look for to hire the local candidate and even in my case i got referral in one of the companies but in that company they did not even consider my application when i asked for the reason i came to know that because they were looking for the local candidate and i was not local to that company and right now i can see uh, because in the company i am working currently out of 11 total interns nine are the local candidates and only two come from out of state so when you start applying for the summer internship my suggestion for you would be to apply for all the local companies in linkedin you can easily put some filters about uh, and put your city your state and find all the local companies apply to those companies at first and only after you run out of those companies then you should look for companies in other states number five is the lead code if you are watching this video and are looking for to apply for the summer internship then you must have probably heard of lead code if not let me give you a quick idea of what lead code is well it's just a platform there are thousands and thousands of questions or the problems and you can pick any of the programming languages c c plus plus java and solve those problems and companies almost all the tech companies these days ask the questions similar to in lead code so if you are good at lead code you have a good chance of getting the internship i still remember the question they asked me during my online assessment both of the questions were related to string the first question was to check whether the string is a valid anagram or not and the second question was to find the occurrence of a string in a given string by the time i appeared for my online assessment i had spent few months in lead code i probably did uh, 40 50 questions in lead code and i was lucky that i got similar question in my online assessment that i had already practiced in lead code to understand more about lead code to start your journey of lead code i would suggest you to follow neatcode.io in youtube if you want to learn things about lead code neat code is definitely the guy whom you should follow number six will be network networking is something that will help you only if you are good at all of the things that i talked previously you might get network but if you don't have a good resume does not do not know how to solve lead code problems then even if you have a good network even if you get referred referred to a company you might not get the job so networking is something that you should be focusing but it should not be prioritized as much as the other things think of networking like a sword if you don't know how to handle a sword how to fight a battle with it then just because somebody handed you a good sword won't mean that you will that you can find fight the battle and win it you need to put your time for the networking you need to connect with other people you need to ask for referral and sometimes even getting referred by somebody is a big deal let's say your resume uh, you get referred your resume reaches the hiring team 
and they call you for the interview but if you are not good at lead code if you don't know how to solve the uh, lead code type problems then that all of the networking all of the referral will just go into waste so my suggestion for you would be to put uh, more time into all the things that i talked previously then only be serious about networking there are few more things that i would like to share with you all first one is uh, as you start applying for the companies you quickly begin to realize that it takes a lot of time to fill just one application and you can imagine even if it takes 5 minutes to fill one application when you are applying to 200 300 companies that takes quite a long time and uh, even for almost all of the companies 50 to 60% of questions in the application form going to be the same so now you just feel frustrated after some point because you will be answering same questions in all of the application forms and for that there is an extension called simplify in simplify you can put answers to all of those questions and later when you start filling out the application you can just enable the extension and it just fills out all the details for you so you can use that extension and the last thing would be you should try to customize your resume and the cover letter people used to say that if you customize your resume according to company requirements and also it has a cover letter that will give you an edge over the others and i do not disagree with it i completely believe that if you can really put some extra time you must do that you need to customize your resume according to the requirements and also attach a cover letter but in my case i could not do it at first i did it for few companies but after some time i realized i started to realize that it is going to take me a lot of time so i stopped it but if you are watching this video then i would definitely suggest you to do that so this is it for today if you have any questions or if you guys want to ask me anything you can ask it in the comment sections see you guys in the next one till then bye bye